Hi everyone, Soros here, and today's video we're covering how to prestige and farm in. So all the bits and bobs and guides and tips you need to prestige the best you can and farm the best you can for Tap Titans 2. Now before we begin, I just want to say thank you for Lemon Llama and for his guides and information. I'll put a link in the description below, which will be directly to his Reddit page where you can get the latest information and updates. So as I mentioned, we're covering that prestige, prestiging, the basics of prestiging and farming relics guides, so the guides of farming and what it means. And start with prestige, what is it? Well, prestiging is the process of bringing your game back to the very start and the very first level, and oftentimes losing your power, weapons, or like by relying on your presence of special items that allow you to progress faster in the next go around. So how can you prestige in this game and do it right? Well, this guide will take you step by step on the process of how to become a master at it. So this is an example of a prestige screen. The basics of prestiging is one thing that hasn't changed from the original tab titans and when it comes to prestiging and the fact that in most cases you can only do it at level 600 or later other than that the only way you can prestige before level 600 is not currently entered in tournament as if you do start a tournament then you just hit the join button and you'll prestige automatically so you can prestige by joining the join tournament or if you hit level 600 on your sword master then you can hit prestige and you get an image like shown to the right Often it's best to wait till you've passed level 600. It's always best not to prestige as soon as you've gone past 600. You might want to get more artifacts as a result of prestiging. So if you want to do this, wait until your hero level has gone up a bit, complete more levels and kill more bosses, and this will unlock more heroes, which will give you more push and power to get more stages. And each time you unlock a new hero, it gives you that extra boost to give you some more level gains. Keep going until you can no longer kill a Titan boss or the time between bosses exceeds a few minutes. The benefits of waiting to prestige is that you get much more higher relics as a reward and more chance of unlocking skill points and other equipment along the way. So what you can do if you've got a lot of relics, if you currently have a lot of relics on you, then you've got an option to buy a new artifact or upgrade an exist one is recommended that you level books of shadows in between tournament days and during tournaments switch to your build type artifacts or buy new artifacts to help you give you a push in those tournaments Make it rain before you prestige. Now Tap Titan 2 has a perk called Make It Rain and this will become available to you either by daily reward or by buying it with diamonds from the shop. It can drop from fat fairies or you can win it from the perk type tournament. It's always best to use Make It Rain just before you're about to prestige and if you've done it quick enough, it will carry the gold over to your new run which will give you a massive boost in gold to begin your new run with. It is recommended to use this feature just before tournament to give yourself a better head start. I'll show you what I mean in the video to the right on how to how quickly you need to do this for it to be effective. Now when to prestige before tournament, ideally you want to save a couple of runs worth of relics before tournament. This is so you have a bunch of relics to use so you can buy new artifacts or level existing ones once you've joined a tournament. If you're in the middle of a run, try to get as close as to the max stage as you can before joining a tournament. Again, so you begin the tournament with more relics to spend. Join a clan and prestige faster. Joining a clan early is a great way to prestige and farm faster. Try to join a high level clan as soon as you can, which has a very high clan raid experience. Clans with high clan raid experience will give you a bigger boost to advanced start. A high advanced start lets you begin a higher stage after after prestige which helps makes your run shorter and gives you more time to prestige more. Farming Relics Guide is a guide to farming and what it means. Farming is part of the game that we spend most of our time on it's a, and it's good to understand that we need to maximise the benefits we get from time we spend. For those who don't know, farming is an act of prestiging, typically below your max stage, to gain relics and to help level up your artefacts to become stronger. Meanwhile, pushing is when you exceed your max stage and try to increase it as much as possible. The basic premise of farming is simple. You prestige, play into your showdown, and cannot easily progress then prestige and do it again typically this slow down point is when you cannot kill the boss in a single hit anymore or cannot splash anymore however this exact point will be different for each player and each build this is when the metric for determining your most optimal prestige stage comes into play 
So relics per minute, simply put, when you can use your prestige screen to compare the number of relics you get from prestige and the amount of time it took to get there. Now the point when you get into the largest number, when you divide your number of relics by the minutes to reach that point is your optimal prestige point. You may find that pushing even when the things are slow can actually increase your relics per minute due to the relic gains you get from increasing your max stage. You will need to find this out for yourself. When talking about farming, speed is typically one of the biggest concerns. You want to be able to do your farming runs quickly to maximize your relic gains. But you also want to make sure that you do not lose too much power when doing this. Having fast farming prestiges is important, but also as important is to maintain higher relics per minute. We can break down ways to improve our speed in some distinctive categories. So these categories are broke down to six parts. So part one is prestige relics. So Books of Shadows known as the most powerful artifact for a reason is simply because it allows you to gain many times more relics per each prestige than you would normally. More relics equals more artifact levels, which equals more power and more progression equals more relics. It's this great circle of relic life you got there. Splashing and skipping boosts. These will help you go faster by increasing your splash count, splash skip, multiple spawns and porter slash uh, snap spawn chances. These are typically the boosts that people refer to as farming boosts, simply because they don't give any damage or gold boost by themselves, but increase the speed of your farm. Cooldown reduction and duration increases. These help you reduce the amount of times you need to interact with the game in order to prestige or reduce the time waiting for the event to happen. Mana capacity and mana generation and mana cost reductions. These allow you not to wait around for mana and thus allow you to progress without interruption. These are similar to cooldown reduction method in the last bullet point. For some builds like Heavenly Strike have such high mana requirements that these deserve their own category. Faster sources of gold or damage. For gold, getting boosts that help boss or chest in gold can be better than boosts that help fairy or pet hand of Madas gold, simply because the gold sources will pay out your gold faster. Similarly, a damage multiplier that doesn't require a delay is faster than something like the boost from anchoring shot, lightning strike or doom, and that's an excellent for farming. While a damage skill that requires a delay can be powerful, the delay, may, the delay can also reduce your relics per minute, even if you end up progressing further in a prestige. Silent March. Boosts that allow you to progress offline faster and more smoothly allow you to pay less attention to the game and get greater rewards. This includes boost to inactive damage, multiple spawns and inactive advancement speed. When looking at how you evaluate a build in terms of farming, you will want to consider these above points. You care about how much your build will splash, how many hits it will take to defeat a single stage and how long you need to wait to defeat a titan. These can typically be seen at a glance by checking the splash skip splash count and cooldowns of your build but the true test will always be to simply try out for yourself and find out your relics per minute farming relics guide equipment farming no matter how dedicated you are you want to try and do four prestige in a single day this is due to equipment farming equipment farming is a way where you can gather up a maximum of 20 equipment per day by progressing through stages you have already beaten more specifically, up to five equipment for low max stage players will get around about three or four, will be randomly distributed amongst bosses between 80 and 99% of your max stage when you prestige. When you defeat those bosses, they will give you equipment drop. This is a great source of free diamonds and additional chance at equipment to complete your equipment sets to improve your current equipment. If you're curious about where your equipment drops are, use an app like Sequence TT2, I'll put a link to it below, and you can tell you the exact stage your farmed equipment will be. Also, you can tell when equipment will be dropped because your boss bar will be colored blue. As a special consideration, you should make sure that you pick up your farmed equipment off the ground before your daily shop resets happens at midnight. Your daily farmed equipment count will reset at midnight, but any farmed equipment you have on the ground will count against your farmed equipment count for the next day. This means that you can keep all 20 equipment on the ground. You not get any new farmed equipment when you pick them up. Then you have to wait until the next daily shop resets. So I hope, and this one's a short one, but I hope this guide has been useful. It was just a quick one about when to prestige the best chance in farming. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you liked this video and it's been helpful, please give a like and a thumbs up and 
subscribe and hit that bell button because I'll be releasing Titan videos once a week. I hope this video has helped. Take care.